Order to cash management with SAP Business by Design. Manage end-to-end -end cross departmental processes. In this demo, you'll see how the SAP Business by Design solution enables processes that cross departmental boundaries allowing employees to develop a sales quote and obtain approval, check product availability, create a sales order, issue goods from inventory, and finally, invoice the customer. SAP Business by Design is an integrated solution that's delivered on demand through a single interface and supports core business processes for small and mid-sized businesses. Sales representative Kate Jacob received a request from her account, Silver Star Wholesale, and needs to provide the company with a quote. She opens her new business work center and selects new sales quotes from the common tasks list. She enters the account name and description. In the items area, she clicks the product ID field and selects the correct product name and number from the pop-up window. She also enters the requested delivery date. The solution pre-populates the quantity and calculates the net value. To ensure she can meet the customer's delivery date, Kate clicks Check Availability to determine if the product is in stock. The status indicator is green, so she can promise delivery on the requested date. Also, per company policy, the quote must be approved by her manager, so she enters a note to that effect. She clicks Save and then Submit. Kate's manager Bob Menson opens his Managing My Area Work Center and clicks on the Approvals view. He highlights the item in the list and clicks Edit. He reviews the quote and clicks the Approve button. Later, having received her manager's approval and the customer's acceptance of the quote, Kate creates the sales order. She opens her Sales Orders Work Center and from the Common Tasks menu selects New Sales Order. In the New Sales Order screen, she clicks on the Create with Reference button. She selects Sales Quote in the Reference Type field, enters the ID of the Sales Quote in the Reference ID field, and clicks OK. She selects the entry and then clicks Check Availability to double check that the product is still available. Kate can also use the Add File command to attach an image of the customer's signed sales order if it's required. Finally, she clicks the Submit button and selects Release Order. Her order is now being passed to her company's shipping area. Supply Planner Richard Stone is responsible for the fulfillment of Kate's order. In the Customer Demand view, he selects All Orders Created Today from the drop-down menu in the Show field. He clicks on the Open Product Planning Details button. Then, he checks the product stock and pending orders. Satisfied that the company can fulfill the order, he clicks Save and Close and returns to the Supply Planning Work Center. Here, he clicks on the button to release the order. Warehouse Manager Luther Leblansky logs on to his Outbound Logistics Work Center and the Delivery Proposals view. He selects All Delivery Proposals by Selection in the Show field and looks for the order in the Find field. Luther clicks on the Post Goods Issue button, which opens the Create Outbound Delivery screen. He verifies the amount to be shipped and saves his work. After confirming delivery, Kate needs to make sure the customer is invoiced. From her Customer Invoicing Work Center, she selects the Items to be Invoiced view. She sees the Silver Star Wholesale order under Items to be Invoiced. From the follow-up button, she selects the Invoice Creation option. In the New Invoice screen, she carefully checks the details. Then, she saves the information and clicks on the Release button to route the invoice to accounting for final preparation. As you have seen, SAP Business by Design enables business processes that span sales, logistics, and accounting, all from the same fully integrated business solution.